everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the issue you are experiencing on your Windows 10 device where you are using your computer and you come across the error message could not initialize graphics system. Make sure that your video card and driver are compatible with direct draw. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to go ahead and open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, I'm going to use Google Chrome for today's tutorial, but you're welcome to use a different browser if you're more comfortable with that. And you want to navigate over to Google or Google Search, and you just want to go search up DirectX download and just search for that. One of the best matches should be from a Microsoft web page here that says download DirectX and user runtime web installer. Go ahead and left click on that. First this select language, make sure it's the correct language here in this drop down list and then select the orange download button. should be a pretty small download and subsequently it shouldn't take very long to download so we're going to go ahead and just open that up to run it. Select the yes option if you receive a user account control prompt. Go ahead and accept the agreement and then select next. I'm going to uncheck the option to install the Bing bar and then I'm going to select next again. Download size is about 44 megabytes. I'm going to go ahead and select next again. Or I should say the components installed are now ready for use. Go ahead and select finish. I want to just you guys restart your computer and then see if that has resolved the problem. You can also try actually updating your graphics card. So if you go online and search up your graphics card manufacturer, there should be drivers available for download. So just go ahead and download them from the internet. It should be a very simple process. But that should honestly be about it guys for this tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.